I was thinking I may need to stand on that like Eric stood on that earlier. He was amazing, and uh, I was glad I didn't have to come up right after him because that would have been totally unfair. Um, you know, if we have more people like him at his age doing what he's doing, we would have a lot less issues in our country and in our world, that is for sure. So I was so moved by him. That was awesome. Um, but Trent is right. Basically, I went to the grocery store about four years ago in February. I can't believe it's been four years since this has started. And I went to go to get food for my four kids that range from now 18 to 10 years of age. We've got three cats, a dog. I've got a husband who most of the time claims me. And, um, and I just went to a routine grocery shop and uh, ended up running into a neighbor who said, did you see the headlines about the Coke plant? Well, I literally thought, I mean, I was stupid on steroids when it came to environmental issues. And um, I had no idea what she was talking about. I thought she was talking about Coca-Cola. And so I got online and I realized that what was being proposed was the rezoning of 100 to 150 acres of virgin farmland between a school, a nursing home, and a residential area. It was like the powers that be said, where's the stupidest place we could put a Coke plant? Oh, I know. There's a place in Butler County where there's a school of elementary children that don't need to be able to breathe, and a residential area um, with all these homes and an already non-attainment area, and, a, and a, a nursing home that has over 300 residents. And that's where they proposed to put this coal-making facility. And so for the last almost four years, we've been fighting that process. And I can tell you when it started, it was to fight a coke plant. But what it's turned into is a passion for truth and justice. And in my world, yeah. In my world, they're still right and wrong. And I go by the motto, your actions speak so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. You can talk and talk and talk, but your actions in the walk. So in Suncoke, when I go to community advisory panel meetings right now, you know, they tell their side of the story and I challenge that. And amazingly, there's always more to the story or what they said isn't true. And they're nice enough, they're nice people, and I've been able to work the process. But I despise deception. And I despise when the community is led to be Told, you know, when they're led to believe something that's entirely not true. And so regardless of how mammoth that plan has become, and they're supposed to start pushing coke this week, it has not deterred us from our fight. And this is, award isn't about me. It's about an amazing group of people that have allowed me to serve them and to lead them in a fight that we will never stop fighting. Because like I said, it is, it's a passion for just letting people know the truth. And so I just thank you for this opportunity. If you would have told me, this started out as an email distribution list. <laughs> So if, if you ever have a um, desire to start an email distribution list for some fight or you're asked to, you might want to beware because um, that's literally how it started. I never in a million years would have thought I would be here. So I just thank you so much for this opportunity and for this honor, but I, I give it right back to the people because they're the ones who continue to press forward and be steadfast and to do the right thing. Thank you.